Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your lights on in Revit when they're not turning on when you render. It's basically dark and there's no illuminance or anything. So here, and there are two ways, two methods to do this. I'm going to show you both ways. You can do whichever, you know, um, best fits you and your situation. So as you can see here, I have a simple floor plan with a desk and some chair and a chair. I put in some furniture just so that when the light does turn on, you can see illuminance and, you know, reflecting off of objects. And it's not just a basic light in a room. And then here's a 3D view of that. And then here's a section view. So this is a light fixture from a company called Visual Comfort & Co., which you may know as Tech Lightning. They have amazing lightning fixtures, however, that none of their lights turn on when you render in Revit. So we're going to fix that, and I'm going to show you the first method. The first method is to go to the Insert tab here. Once you have your lightning fixture in place, like I do, go to the Insert tab at the top. And then you're going to go to Load Autodesk Family. Once that is loaded, um, you'll see a bunch of options here. And you want to go to the Lightning option, which is right here. And then you're going to want to scroll until you see Studio Light. And it's basically just an orb of light. It doesn't have a power outlet attached to it. So you can type that in or just do a quick scroll down right here, Studio Light. As you can see, it's literally just an orb. So you can check that and click Load. Now it is officially loaded into, you know, your project here. So I'm going to go to the ceiling plan. And as you can see, here is my lighting fixture. You can load it while on the regular floor plan, but the ceiling plan will help you see exactly where the lighting fixtures are. So I'm going to type the shortcut on my keyboard, CM. That is the shortcut for component. Or you can just go to the architecture tab and press component. So CM. And right here, as you can see, the studio light, 120 voltage, or is loaded. So you, I'm going to place it right here. And the thing about this is you can change the settings on it. So if you click it and go to edit type, and then here you can change the color filter that you want. So do you want a daylight bright white light? Do you want something a lot warmer or cooler? You might want to go with the light blue. You can change all that. I'm going to keep it the basics because I'm not into that. I'm not trying to get that specific, but if you would like to change it, that's how you do it. And you click apply and okay. So, um, mine is big enough, really, for this fixture. So, if I go to the section, as you can see, the orb is right here. It's too um, high up. So, I'm going to bring it down some by pressing the down arrow on my keys. About right there, I'll put it. And then that is the first method. And when you render, it'll turn on. And I'm also going to upload a rendering image of that in this video, at the end of this video. Now the second method, so I'm just going to delete this. The second method is to actually open the lightning fixture family. So double click on your lightning fixture. And boom, it's open. And we're going to go to the floor plan view here, the project browser. And as you can see, there are a ton of these other orbs. But if you have downloaded a file from Tech Lightning or Visual Comfort & Co. before specifically, then you know that these lightning fixtures do not turn on. So it just doesn't. I don't know why, but it just does not. Um, I have actually used this specific lightning fixture before in a school project. And I had to use this method that I'm teaching you all today to make it turn on in renderings because they don't turn on on their own. In the actual lightning family, you're going to want to go to the insert tab, load Autodesk family, and look for that same studio light in the lightning category. Check that and load. And now it is actually in your. Um, lightning fixture family 
So on the reference level, you can just load it into here and place it right in the middle. And if you go to elevation view, you can see it's way up there, but you can adjust it by just bringing it down some. So I'm going to put mine right there. And you can load this actual lighting fixture back into your family. If you want to save, you need to save. Overwrite the version. So there's the orb. Now the difference between this method and the previous method is that now when you place this lighting fixture anywhere else in your project, copy it or whatever, it is now, unless you actually re-upload a different version, it is now, this orb is going to automatically be attached to it. Versus the other one, if I were to copy that lightning fixture, the orb would not copy over because I placed that in the model itself and not the lightning fixture model itself. Okay, so those are the two methods you can use to turn your lights on when they render in Revit if they're not automatically doing it. So... Now I'm going to show you um, rendered pictures of this 3D view. Okay, so this is the image rendered in Revit at high. Um, there is a best feature, but I just did it at high because the best would take super, super long. I did add a window. Windows always help with, you know, lightning and your renderings in Revit. But as you can see, there's only one window. It's really small. The basic fix window that comes with Revit. As you can see, there's lightning reflected above here. Which wouldn't be without the orbs. I also added more than one orb. By the way, you can add more than one. Don't think that you're just limited to one orb. And then I also added some down below. So as you can see right here, there's a reflectance of that light illuminating onto the desk. And then this is just cast from the window. But this right here and then right here and all up here is from the orb so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and god bless